Hey science lovers, Angel Nier here to tell you about what may be called the most exciting opportunity for students enrolled in grades K through eight of the summer, AKA Mova Globe's Stay at Home Science Fair, where you have the chance to win $1,500, a real telescope, an actual microscope, and my personal favorite, an autographed copy of an Adelaide adventure book signed by author Emily Calandrelli. Now the rules to register and apply are pretty straightforward and I'll be putting the link in the description of the video. So you can take a look at that once we're finished, but as an example, I'm going to do a demonstration of one of my favorite science experiments just for you. Now this is called elephant toothpaste. There are two ways that you can do this experiment with a yeast catalyst and with a potassium iodide catalyst. What we're gonna do is we wanna measure out a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Now, this doesn't look like your typical hydrogen peroxide that you pour on cuts. This is a little bit stronger percentage concentration, but if you have hydrogen peroxide in your bathroom, that will work just fine. I just wanted a little bit more of an exciting reaction. The materials you'll need for this experiment are as follows. Hydrogen peroxide of 3 to 12% concentration, food coloring, measuring spoon, a catalyst of active dry yeast, a warm cup of water, don't forget a plastic soda bottle or any other type of vase to put your experiment in. Now the next thing we want to do is get very warm water and add our catalyst. Our catalyst for this experiment is going to be yeast. So what we want to do is we want to measure out one tablespoon of yeast into three tablespoons of water. Now you want to make sure this water is a little hot so it dissolves. The next step is add a little bit of dish soap, just about a squirt or two into your hydrogen peroxide. Now I'm gonna do two demonstrations for you, and hopefully I don't get foam everywhere, but if I do, that's the fun part, right? So next thing you wanna do is add your favorite color food coloring. So I'm gonna do a little bit of green, and I think I'm gonna mix this one up. I'm gonna do a little bit of green and red in this one. And double time. And you only need a couple drops, but it's really up to you. I use a little extra. So now we have our hydrogen peroxide, our dish soap, and our food coloring all in one jar. And now it's time to add the catalyst. And hopefully we see a really fun reaction. I'm gonna use my funnel and put it at the top of the bottle my hydrogen peroxide is in and add the catalyst. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> now what is actually happening? What is this foam? Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, so just like your water molecular composition, two hydrogens, one oxygen, but instead hydrogen peroxide has two oxygens, so H2O2. The reason that we are getting this foam is because of the dish soap. The dish soap contains that extra oxygen molecule that is being released. And so this is all just oxygen and water now because we had a chemical reaction that separated the two. We're gonna go outside now because if we use potassium iodide with a 34% hydrogen peroxide, we are gonna get one that shoots a couple yards into the air. So follow me, let's go. Experiment two uses a catalyst of potassium iodide. The experimental steps will be similar, but we're going to change the concentration of hydrogen peroxide to 34%. Next, add a few squirts of dish soap and your favorite food coloring. And finally, in another glass, mix one tablespoon of potassium iodide and three tablespoons of water. Pour and step back. The first reaction wasn't as intense as I had hoped for. So we did another trial with triple the amount of catalyst and... You'll notice the steam coming off of the foam. That's because the potassium iodide catalyst gives us an exothermic reaction, which means the foam will be extremely hot. So kids, please do not try this at home without adult supervision. The deadline to enter is June 15th. So if you know of any kids, grades K through eight, who are interested in participating, feel free to let them know and make sure they hurry up and get their videos submitted. Good luck.